Hey guys, we're fixing to uh, load up everything in the pickup truck, camera, the uh, TSC-7, and uh, we're going to go out we're going to meet up with my buddy, uh, Tony Anderson. So a little background on Anderson surveying. Tony, um, I've known him for 30 plus years. Um, I've, uh, he and I have been friends. Uh, we worked at basically competing engineering firms. He worked at uh, EDM. I worked at Michael Wagner. Um, but we've known each other the whole time, crossing paths out there surveying and everything. And over the years, we've just become pretty good friends. So Tony is probably one of the hardest working surveyors I think I've ever met. Um, he is um, truly, uh, is probably one of the best surveyors that I know. He, um, he puts 110% into everything he does. I thought giving that uh, TSC-7 to Tony was a great idea because... Um, uh, Tony's going to give it to you straight. He's not going to, he's not going to try to make me happy or make you happy or anything else. Tony is going to um, give it straight at you. So let's jump in the truck. Let's run out there real quick. Uh, we're going to meet Tony out there on the job site, and um, he's going to take a look at this uh, TSC seven. So stay tuned. Anderson from Anderson Surveying. What do you think, Tony? Can you see it? I like the screen and the sunlight for sure. So, bright, sunshiny day. It's a big question we keep getting asked is, um, can you see it? So apparently we can. So we've got uh, access 2018 on this thing. We're gonna take a few shots, see how this thing works. So, just walk around and get some shots. Okay. One good thing about this new TSC-7 is you can leave your sunglasses on. You don't have to take your sunglasses off. That's a big plus. Big difference. I've got a Yuma tablet with my SX-10 and I I sure like this TSC-7 a lot better than that Yuma, for sure. Wait a minute now, you said a minute ago you'd purchased about all you were going to purchase. So are you telling me you're going to have to get one of these tablets or one of these collectors? I get all the free lunches I can from uh, Tremble, so I'll keep buying. <laughs> I'll keep buying. So what do you think about the weight? I don't think that's going to be a problem. Size, the weight, that's some of the things I've heard so far is size and weight was an issue. The weight is not an issue. The size, I wouldn't be dragging this thing through the woods like we normally do our TSC-3s. But you agree, I mean, if you're going to do a boundary survey, you probably just grab a TSC-3. Yes, sir. Yep, as far as mapping point clouds, any kind of scan data, this is perfect. Weight is definitely not a problem. The bulkiness, not a problem because you're going to be out in the wide open just like this right here with a scanner anyway. So you're not going to be dragging a scanner through the thick brush. So this would be ideal for scanning or any kind of point cloud data gathering. I know those guys are going to make fun of me for not having a bipod on this thing but they'll get over it you're getting topo shots who cares right <laughs> yeah yeah we're doing a little two foot grid right here <laughs> well there's no hesitation on that uh as far as the the zoom in out function there's no hesitation at all on the processor or the data collector it's it does what you tell it to the screen let's just put it that way much better huh much better screen 
So if you let's say you were doing a boundary survey and you had a um, a PDF or a background or um, or something like that, you could actually use that um, in the boundary survey. So having a bigger map would probably be nice. Maybe a, even a PDF. You could put yeah. a PDF or a background map if you wanted to. If you so did construction staking, you could use a DXF file on this screen right here and go to town. Yep, I agree. That's like the things it. I like about it. We like it. Okay, so Tony reviewed that for us. As you can see, um, sunlight doesn't seem to be a big thing. Tony doesn't think weight is a big thing. Uh, I kind of agree with him on the TSC3. If I'm doing a boundary survey up in the woods, I think probably a TSC3 is where I want to go. Uh, that TSC7 is absolutely phenomenal if you're using background maps or something like that. So thanks, Tony. You're my buddy. I uh, appreciate you uh, helping me out with this and letting everybody know, um, you know, about this TSC-7. So, hope you guys uh, really liked it. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you subscribe, then you'll know whenever I post a new video. If you like it, then I know what you want me to do. I know which path to go down. So, you guys be careful out there. 